Welcome back everybody, this is Bryce from Vibrant Dive. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So the shirt's been pre-washed, it's been flipped inside out, and I'm going to mirror the shirt with the back of the shirt on top and the top of the shirt on the bottom. We're going to airplane fold this, we're going to be doing a John Star variant today. So we want that uh, front part to go forward on the airplane fold, which you'll see here in a minute. John Cor Corbizek, I can't pronounce his last name, forgive me, John. Um, he, he runs the One Hour Tie-Dye Group on Facebook. He has great tutorials, including this one. You can see it picture by picture if you prefer that. I figured I'd make a video. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a simple airplane fold. This is the front of the shirt here. Nothing crazy. This is the first time I'm doing this design, so there'll definitely be things to learn. This top part that you see me folding now, that's a little tricky because of the sleeve. Um, if you're looking for a more like uniformed flower type shape, I would definitely suggest looking at John's tutorial. He does a fold with the sleeves I haven't figured out. Right here I want to show you, this is what it looks like if you have it folded right. You'll see the two, the sleeve hem and the neck hem. That's how you'll know you'll have it all folded up right. Um, I went ahead and drew a circle here because I wanted to put a circle around the star. If you don't like the circle look at the end, just leave this part out. Um, this will be kind of like another mandala style tie except what we'll be doing is we'll be taking the The tip here you'll see and I'm going to be folding it back towards me 90 degrees and then away from me 90 degrees and I'll be doing a mandala tie <coughs> Excuse me A mandala tie on This is definitely um, takes a little practice all of the um, Layers can be a little tricky. I'm also using a Gildan heavy cotton here So for me, I'm usually using thinner cotton. So this is just a, a Practice for me really I do like the uh, heavier cotton look with hot water. I found Here with the tip I'm still learning like what to do with the tip and you'll see in my design the center looks it looks unique like everything in tie-dye but if you're looking for a precise circle I would definitely again check out those picture tutorials so you can really look at how John is folding them this is the back part of the shirt here this is specifically what I was talking about with the uniformity for me uh, I couldn't figure out how to get the sleeve so I went ahead and just uh, did a roll in mandala tie that gives some really cool uh, pictures, kind of like um, ink blot kind of looking. You'll see in the back of this shirt when we get to that point. This is a really fun design, and if you're going for like a stained glass look, I think this is definitely a good option. I definitely was struggling a little bit with the back here. down I had two projects I was doing um, this one on the bottom is a experiment it's more of a liquid I should have used liquid on it but I did hot water on it and was not happy with the saturation so I didn't show it in this video but I figured if you like watching dye get laid I'll leave the part in where I actually laid the dye on it um, what we're laying here with the colors it's um if I can remember correctly it's sea green um, seashell blue, lime pop, yellow, magenta, some purple. I think that's it. I can't remember. 
with these ones that you see me adding now, these ones are so small, the nubs are so tight, I feel like liquid is just the way to go. I can't seem to figure out the saturation with these drives me nuts mandalas um they for what they are for me they've been a design that's been hard for me to to get down i've been tie-dyeing now for a little over a year and i'm just now beginning to learn the tie so don't be upset if you can't figure it out we're gonna go ahead and start adding the water the water is about 145 150 degrees i've added a, a milliliter of calcelene oil to the half gallon of water to help with surface penetration especially with that thicker cotton I would definitely suggest throwing a little gasoline oil in there I can definitely see the difference in the saturation as far as the thinner shirts go I, I can't tell I feel like you probably wouldn't need the gasoline oil if it's really thin but uh, yeah with these the Gildan heavy cottons I would definitely suggest using a, a few a few milliliters of it depending on your um, sprayer size Again, we have the heavy cotton underneath here. We're hoping, what my theory is, is the water is looking for dry areas, so it's helping suck that water through the shirt, helping to pull that dye down. Really just kind of taking my time here, checking the saturation. Now on this one, uh, what I did was I flipped the project and I put black on it. That kind of gives it that kind of stained glass look. It gives it a, a nice little background. I really enjoy the color on one side and black on the other look with uh, hot water. Again, just taking my time here. As you see, this is a really good example of why I like mixing the dyes with soda ash. You see how it, the water was just taking it and it was just staying in place. It wasn't blowing everywhere. It's like using enough soda ash to split the dye was my, or to break the dye down was my theory in the beginning. And then I realized that the soda ash weighs more than the dye powder. So by adding even more soda well, ash, you actually weigh it down. Thus helping the dye powder stay in place when you add the water. Now this is just the washing process. I like to unwrap before I add any water. I just unwrap the whole project. Hot water. I use uh, Synthropol and Blanc, uh, Dawn dish soap. Most of the time I just start off with Dawn. I add the Synthropol at the end. Help get any of that suspended dye out and it also makes the project a little softer. Take a look at that guys. Pretty cool huh? We'll take a look at this reveal. Stained glass, John Star variant. Very happy with my first time at this. We'll be doing it again. Take a look at the back. The back looks really weird too. It just looks like a, I don't know, almost looks like a snake to me or something, but <laughs> still a cool looking back. You can see the mandala still goes. Uh, you can see where I struggled right at the end. That's why the shape changes, but hey, it wraps around the back. The back looks cool to me. Just want to thank everyone for tuning in. Much love, and I'll catch you next time. This is Bryce from Vibrant Die.